Hi, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, this is the second of my Vlogmas videos. I don't know if I'm going to do full Vlogmas as in every day. I'm just going to see how, how I'm feeling and how things are going. You, I will try and do at least one or two every week so you can sort of see what I'm up to and stuff. Today's video is, I'm sort of carrying on with what other people have done, but it's like bookish gifts that you can give people. The first idea I would always accept is, or think about giving, is a book token. I think they're great, especially if you give a, a book token that can be spent in any bookshop, whether it be an independent or one of the big chains. I think they're brilliant. National book tokens are fantastic. I love getting them because I like being able to go anywhere I want, have a browse, and if there's a coffee shop, then even better. I can go and have a cuppa and a piece of cake, uh, choose my books, and it's brilliant. So I love book tokens. Along the same lines, Amazon gift certificates are great ideas as well. Not only because it means you've got a full spectrum, you can do music and uh, videos and DVDs as well. But for somebody living in the UK or abroad who cannot have access to books that are made in, or printed in America, this is one way of being able to get American books that some of the stores over here don't um, stock. So that's a, an Amazon gift certificate is always very, very welcome. Sorry, I'm having to look at my little list. I have to I have a little list. The other thing is book plates. Um, I showed the ones I have in an earlier video, and book plates are great, especially if you're someone who lends your books out and wants to get them back. If you have a book plate in it, it means that people know who, who it's from, and you will always get your books back, hopefully. Next thing is bookmarks. I know a lot of people don't use bookmarks because they don't, I don't, whether they don't have them or they don't like them, but I love my bookmarks and I have them sort of ones that I've made, ones that people have given me, ones that I've bought, and I find them really great. At the moment, the uh, one I'm using is I made myself, it has uh, Christmas designs on it, so it's festive, and I try and sort of use as many as I can or how many books I'm reading, so uh, yeah, bookmarks are always a really good idea. I have seen a top that I like on the internet and it has a bookish theme to it. It has, um, it has a stack of books and the wording goes, my weekend is all booked up. I love it. I think it's great. And I know it has t-shirts and I think there's hoodies as well. So something like a top with a bookish theme would be really good. I also own a Harry Potter um, Hogwarts t-shirt. So but clothing that has bookish themes, whether it be, um, say, a Harry Potter top or a scarf, um, I don't know, if, I'm sure there are other things that the Hunger Games have, clothing etc that are, that's memorabilia that people can have, so that's another idea for a bookish type present. Um, the other thing I own is I have a really nice mug which has got Jane Eyre on it, and I can't remember who the publisher of this, of the, the, sort of the edition is, but it's like, um, I've got two yellow stripes and a white stripe. Um, and it's got Jane Eyre written on it by Charlotte Bronte, so I really like that. So a mug that has a bookish theme would be good. And you could you know, have a coaster. I'm sure there are coasters out there as well that folk can use that can put have their put their mugs down on, um, you know, the coaster as they're reading their books. So that's another idea. And finally, there are a couple of um, things on the internet. One is called BookBub. So if you've got somebody who has a Kindle or a tablet, something like that, they can um, join BookBub for free and they get sent an email every day with uh, either free or reduced books on it and they can buy it from either Amazon, Kobo, whatever kind of reading device that they have they can you know get the book the books that are available on that particular day as I say either the books are free or they are reduced. The other thing I've found recently is an app called Book Catalog and this um, app I have it on my phone and I will if once I ever get a tablet I will put it on that and you type in the ISBN of the, of the book that you have or books that you have and it will just put it into this app and it gives you a picture of it uh, it tells you who the author is, the publishers etc etc and it's a great way of keeping track of all the books you have also means that when you're out and about, if you're in a bookshop and you see a book and you think, oh, I really like that one, but I can't remember whether I read it or not, you can go back through your catalogue on your phone, your, on the app, and you can see whether you have it or not. And I think that's a fantastic idea. So there are some ideas for you of bookish presents that you could probably give to people if you wanted to for you for Christmas. Hope that's been helpful. Please let me know down below if there are any bookish gifts that you are going to give this year or if there are any that you want to receive. And I will see you soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.